Yeah. All right, man. Sketch Pad Podcast. We back, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we talking about why do women get a pass when they cheat, and why do we people make excuses for it? But you know what I'm saying. So we gonna get into that, man. We be back. Sketch Pad. Who raised you? was crazy oh my god uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves you know that's why they have parents oh you need each other what yo i yeah, can't I understand it neither I'm just ahead of it. all right man listen we got sean p still on you know what i'm saying uh, yes night look man so the question is why do women get a pass when it comes to infidelity or cheating. Now, this question comes from the Remy Ma situation with uh, oh. Papoose and uh, Easy to Block Captain. Shout out to Easy to Block Captain. I know him, real good dude. Shout out to that man. Um, why do women get a pass? And I'll let y'all go first. I got, I got some things that I wanna say about this. And in this case, I, I I might take a little different stance on it, but go ahead. Whoever wants to go first, you you can go first, Sean. Um, women getting a pass on cheating. Um, well, I, I don't I don't know if they get a pass, but it's not as demonized as when males do it, you know. And I just think it's because of our media culture, you know. Um, we live in a society where, you know, uh, you know, a, a lot of ladies are at the hands or behind a lot of uh, media out there, you know, so they're, I, I really can't explain it, you know, uh, why that is, you know, but it almost seems like, and when it comes to relationships, it's weird because Reese, we talked about this before that women take cheating a lot more seriously than men do or i'm not gonna say it in that context that you take it in different ways you know what i mean because it hurts a woman like almost a hundred times more when they get cheated on because obviously with women they can't stand to ha hear, hear the fact that another woman is better than them you know what i mean so i think a lot of women rally around each other when they get hurt so bad you know but with a man it's just like oh well you know um you know there he goes messing up again you know what i mean like he was bound to mess up sooner or later because he just has you know uh, a you know what a, a dick between his legs so obviously he's just waiting to cheat you know so it's almost like they're waiting for us to mess up for some reason. And, and it just seems that way that, it, you know, and when it comes to these celebrity breakups, you know, which I think is all fraudulent, like to a point with like Cardi being offset or the other one with, uh, you know, you mentioned Remy Ma, what have you. Automatically, you notice the media goes to, oh, well, he must have been cheating. Same thing with Jeezy and, and Jenny Ma when Jeezy actually divorced her. Jeezy was the one to file for divorce. You know what I mean? But automatically, it's already the, the ready-made story up in the media that, oh, he must have cheated or, or had other women. It's, it's like a scapegoat that's automatically there, ready and written to scapegoat the woman, even though the woman may have been doing some things wrong in the relationship, just like Remy Ma. Mm -hmm. Um. So... Uh, so I'm gonna play. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna speak from the one side of why I believe women get a pass. Uh, a lot of women in the, right now are being propped up by the feminist movement, and the feminist movement has accepted 
every woman for what they are. They can be the biggest whore. It doesn't matter. Because to them, it's women empowerment first. So they don't care if she cheats. They don't care if she has OnlyFans. They don't care if she does anything. The only time a woman cares about a woman cheating is when she cheated with her on her man. That's it. Because other than that, the first thing a woman says is, what did he do for her to cheat on him? No accountability at all when it comes to women and their cheating. So this is the reason why a lot of women don't get that much flack because they will drum up any excuse when it comes to them cheating and don't let the man do one thing. If they say, well, he was looking at other women, women will say, see, that's why she cheated because she felt uncomfortable. He could do anything in their eyes. They will use that against him because most women nowadays cannot accept accountability. And they will, like you said, they will rally behind each other, they will stand for each other, run around. I seen it firsthand. Women literally will do whatever to keep the other woman, you know what I'm saying, at at ease. Even if she was wrong, they won't even say nothing. They say, well, she cheated on him with five different guys. Well, what did he do? Well, he was always at work. He didn't do. See, that's the reason right there. Because he ain't paying no attention. He was always at work. Well, he was doing that to save their lives and make sure. Well, he was. That's why a woman needs attention. You can't just do that. Now, if you reverse that and you put that on the man. It doesn't matter what the, the man. If the man yeah. cheats, the woman. Listen, the man could, could do anything. If the man cheats. It's a hundred percent his fault. She could, she could be, she could tell him, I don't want to have sex no more. And they could be in a relationship. What you expect a man to do, right? You ain't giving him no ass. You ain't giving no ass in six months. You won't have sex with him. But then when he fucks another girl, what do you say? What do they say? See, he's a cheater. What do you say? So we got a needs too. We have, I believe men needs are more than women. That's a good point. So a lot of times, man, what, what kills me is things like that. Now, as far as the Remy Ma situation goes, everybody's siding with Pat Poos because she's the bigger celebrity. That's just the bottom line. So even women are calling her out because a lot of women don't like Remy Ma. Let's just be clear. A lot of women can't stand her because yeah. she's like a nigga. You know what I'm saying? She's like a nigga. But what a lot of people are not telling everybody is the reason why she did what she did is because this nigga had a baby when she was locked up. But nobody knows that part. Everybody thinks that he's so innocent. Oh, this guy is so innocent. No, he's not. He's not. He's not innocent. Not to say that he did, so. he did her dirty no. when she was locked up. So, so I could understand her doing her thing, but here's the thing. She not messy though. Okay, you seen her with Easy the Black Captain, but they never was official. You never seen them kissing. You never seen them doing anything that you would say, yeah, she was cheating. You didn't see that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's the that's the part I respect about Remy Ma. Because she don't put her business out there. They, people think you know, paparazzi taking pictures of them eating dinner. But what can you really say? Do you say do you have any any evidence of her? sleeping with this guy no it's all alleged so that's my issue with with that but yeah that's the reason why women nobody wants to you know hold it that's a good point strong points i agree those are some very very strong points you know um i mean just to piggyback off of what both of you guys said i mean they kind of just they get a pass they get a pass for everything really like you know uh, I, I, I just quite, I, I just can't quite understand, you know, you know, but when you talk about the feminist movement, the woman empowerment, you talk about social media and you talk about all these, 
intangibles combined together, you know, and then not to mention, you know, if you got if you got the the women that are in a relationship, but they got the chatty patties in their ear, that also can steer them to you know what I mean to go the other way. Oh well, what he told you this or he told you that? Oh yeah, you know things like that. You know, like a lot of a lot of times a lot of times in certain situations, especially if they're if they're um in a bad relationship. They're easily, they can easily be manipulated into, you know, making a poor choice. You know what I'm saying? Being influenced to do something they ain't supposed to be doing. Well, you know, I'm gonna say this, so, I'm gonna say this what you said. I'm gonna say what you just said, right? I'm gonna let yeah. you know. There's another reason why women do that. See, women go to other women for validation. And they they, they basically what they want is them that they want to hear, they want them to tell them what they want to hear. Because yeah. most women, if a woman, if a woman cheated on her husband, right, she's going to go to her best friend and her best friend is going to tell her, yeah, you was right for doing that. She's not going to go mm -hmm. to her, somebody else that's not going to tell her that. So when you saying that, that's 100 percent correct. They go to mm -hmm. their friends for validation because they want to feel mm -hmm. good about what they did. You know what I'm saying? They want to feel right, not good, but they want to feel right about what they did. So go ahead, my bad. Exactly. Yeah. And but in all actuality. It's wrong. It's wrong, but you out of out of all the women, you'll probably get maybe one or two that actually push back and say, "No, you shouldn't have did that." But the rest of them are going are going to push them right off the edge and tell them like, "Yeah, this is this is this is this is right. This is what you should do." You know what I mean? And it just it it is really annoying, but. I mean, it's kind of what it's kind of what controls controls the world now with this whole uh, thing. You know, it, the narrative is being painted and put out there. You know, and and the men are kind of just like become like second fiddle when it comes to things like that. It's not good, but what can I say, man? It's just it's just how the world is, uh, you know, turning right now, but. Hey man, as far as the uh, Remy and Papoose and uh, Easy situation, I look at it like this: like what he did was wrong, what she did was wrong, what Easy did was wrong too. Simple as that. It's three wrongs to it. That's, that's just three wrongs and no right. I, I'm gonna tell you like this, and this is my personal opinion. I don't think. Remy and Easy did anything wrong. Nobody mm. knows what actually happened between the two. It's just a, a yeah, that is true. That's it's that's what I'm saying. We don't know if they actually did anything. We really don't sure. know. Like people could say, like people don't have any evidence of that. You know what I'm saying? But we do got evidence of what this guy did. <laughs> so, yeah. So, but I, that's that's all I'm saying. I ain't, and you know, I, Easy, my man, but I ain't trying to just give him a pass on that. But it's, it is what it is. And on top of that, like they was business partners. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they grew close together. I don't know. But did Remy Ma come on and say, yeah, Easy's my man? Because Remy Ma's not, she's not no pussy. And if she's with somebody, she's going to say that. That's just the bottom line. Like, I don't see her not saying, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it is what it is, man. Yeah, but yeah man. Allegedly, allegedly, whatever happened, you know. That word you know allegedly. I mean? Wait, who will use that word? They don't know they're allegedly. They're going to have to use they that use that word, word to get out of anything. <laughs> But look, man, we don't want it, man. Allegedly, that's that's everybody's favorite word. But yo, see, in the end of the day, yo, allegedly. in the end of the day, when it comes to it, 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 yeah. it, I don't know. It's just the way the world is because it's almost like when, like, when you look at the celebrity hip hop relationships, and yeah. we'll take you to the most extreme example: Will Smith and Jada. Look how mm. that, and and Will actually is doing what a husband is supposed to do by you know, uh, the laws of, you know, marriage of to have it to hold till death do you part. And he's doing what he should be doing for a wife. But in the end of the day, like she's the one who cheated or she's the one who got sloppy. But it's almost as if a lot of ladies, a, a majority of ladies out there, you don't see them condemning her 
for her actions, but Will Smith is looked at as the weaker party because he actually did what he's supposed to do as a husband. Stick by his mm-hmm. woman. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But he's the one that, that that's quote unquote the simp in all of this. So okay. it's like it, you know, either way, you know, a man can never win, even if he does the right thing and he doesn't allegedly cheat. Yeah. Uh, that word allegedly is the ultimate <laughs> A uh, stra- uh, 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 fence straddler, like <laughs> people use that word. So this way, if if it's not true, they could say, "Well, I did say alleged," and if it is true, yeah. they could say, "Yeah, I was right." Like <laughs> either way, like it's crazy. It's yeah. Hey man, listen, man, we gonna get out of here, y'all. See y'all, peace, bye.